Dear Ambassador, first of all, let me from all my heart congratulate all of us with the date of establishment of Armenia-China relations. Armenia and China celebrates 32 years of establishment of diplomatic relations. How would you describe these 32 years? Thank you very much for coming to us to interview me before the anniversary of the 32 years of the, our establishment of the diplomatic relationship between China and uh, Armenia. I mean, uh, 32 years, even it's not a long time, compares to the long history of our friendships, especially between the two peoples. And if we, if we check it, since the old Silk and Road times, has been quite quite a long time of our people's friendship. We can always find this, and we are always enjoying this friendship. Recently, some of our friends checked out, and we have some symbols of our, the exchange of our cultures or our people. We can see that in your uh, Bible, there are some depictions of or pictures of the Chinese uh, symbols, uh, like the uh, keyring or the phoenix. Well, we also learned that quite very, very long ago, maybe a thousand years ago, Chinese people learned that from Armenia there is a special insect that can produce a very shining color of red. So we learn it, and it's much better than the Chinese uh, uh, art craftsmen who are used that can, they can get it from the plants. It's more shining and more colorful. So they learn it and they introduce it to China. So, and then make us the exquisite and a very colorful Chinese silk, more colorful and more beautiful. I think this is a very good example of the historical, the exchange to study from each other of the cultures that we have. Well, after 32 years of the diplomatic ties, and we are enjoying a very strong and steady uh, growth of our relations, we can see from different dis uh, respects. If I could, I can, I can share with you some, some figures. Like uh, our, our bilateral relations, if we say, well, our leaders, I mean, politically, our leaders, uh, through exchanging uh, telegraphs, visits, and phones, they can uh, strengthen their uh, relations of the high level exchanges and relations of the leaders. And we, they can reach the very important the common senses of the future development of our relations. And our uh, departments, uh, leaders, the ministers from the government, from the parties, even from some social organizations, also from the uh, parliament. We also had a very nice communication and exchange of visits. Last year, your Minister of Defense and the Minister of Territory Administration and um, Infrastructure visit China, and also your Minister of Labor and uh, Social Affairs, your former Minister of uh, Economy, he visited China several times, even last year. And from China, we also have some very important delegations visit Armenia successfully. Namely, they are coming from the Ministry of Civil Affairs, some official delegations from Academy of Science of China and also the Academy of Social Science of China. And also there is a special committee on the good neighbor who the business, friendship and cooperation of Shanghai Cooperation Organization and headed by uh, uh, vice chairman of uh, the committee, Madame Tree, and they visit, China, they visit Armenia. Well, very successfully, they talked with their counterparts and enjoyed a very nice discussion with them. And we can also notice that China and Armenia, the uh, political consultation between the two ministries of foreign affairs of Armenia and China were held uh, successfully. And also the 11th Intergovernmental Commission for Economic and Trade Affairs has been done successfully in Beijing. So this actually inputs something new to the development of our bilateral relations. And uh, recently, I think it's just last uh, one week ago, uh, Prime Minister Pashinyan met Chinese Vice Premier Zhang Guoqing in Brussels when they had the nuclear energy 
uh, summit in Brazil, and they had a meeting, very even a, a small, short one, but very uh, fruitful discussion for the future cooperation and also the regional connectivity. I think they exchanged ideas and maybe they also reached some some agreement. So maybe we will expect for the future development. And also we can notice that the practical cooperation also made some new progress. We all noticed that Armenia is one of the earliest country to respond to Chinese One Belt, One Road initiative. And also we have some very nice uh, development among them. We have been the major trading partner for Armenia for many years now. Last year the figure is also was also very nice and we are the third largest trading partner. And the figure is about 2.1 billion US dollars. Well, th three years ago, when I came to Armenia first time, and in history, the bilateral trade volume reached historically one billion. So that means in three years, we double it. That's a very remarkable progress that we made. And China has been the major export and also the main import resource of Armenia, I think. This is something we all work together and uh, spend a lot of energy in. Well, we do have some very important projects that we are working together and uh, uh, move forward in the right way. Like the uh, china Armenia Friendship School has been a remarkable uh, point for our people-to-people -people exchange projects and uh, a lot of uh, young uh, pupils are trying to apply to, to join this uh, school and also we are working very closely with the Armenian partners to uh, put forward the, the pro new project of the TV uh, studio of the public TV and uh, probably we will start the, we will try to implement the, this project very soon and uh, we are also working together with some international institutions in Armenia to help the people in local areas. Like uh, we did one in, uh, in Shirak, Lukaset, it's a small village that we are focused on, like uh, small but beautiful, try to improve the people's livelihood projects. Well, there is one agriculture, Vortec, project that we invest some money and they try to set up a, a solar energy station and also the peeping uh, system for the plants in, in, their, in all the farmers gardens and they may bring very very detailed some income for the, uh, each of the family to help the local people. I mean this is a very good example and we try to do more in future. And also people-to-people -people exchange, there is a new shining point in it because we all understand that the uh, people-to-people relation is rely, is, uh, rely on the people's relationship and also we try to understand each other to make us hearts to hearts relation and this communication a better one. So we always happy to, to tell our friends that we can uh, proudly to say that in Armenia we have always maintained a Chinese uh, hit that uh, uh, Armenia people are very happy and eager to join the group to study Chinese and to, to learn such Chinese culture. The Confucius Institute that we set in the Bruce of State uh, Foreign Language University has been there for more than 15 years and uh, was uh, operated very successfully. Um, I was told that by the directors of the Institute, they, they listed the number that for the students to study Chinese now coming to 5,000. This is a very huge uh, number, I mean, comparing to the small population here in Armenia. And uh, a lot of basic schools, like the school of 135 and also the friendship school, number 55 uh, Chekhov school, they always uh, trying to uh, have hosted some Chinese featured programs or, 
celebrations when we have, say, some Chinese festivals, spring festivals or moon festivals uh, of the year. And we and helped a lot of uh, young pupils and students and their families become the lovers of Chinese culture. This is something we are always happy to see. While in China, this, there is also a huge wave of the uh, Armenian culture has been done successfully with the Armenian embassy in Beijing and their partners in, in China. We see that the first Hachatulian International uh, Young uh, Junior Music School is going to be done this year. This is first ever done in, in, will be done in China and make a new chance for the Chinese people to understand the Armenian culture and Armenian fantastic music better way. So we are trying to uh, our way best to share with our Armenian partners, with our Armenian friends of the experiences and uh, the, that the ideas we learn from the past decades that we get. And we try to help our, our colleagues, no matter they are in the government or in, they are in the private sectors. And we try to provide, we provide the, um, many, many chances for the, for the officials, entrepreneurs and scholars to participate in the training courses in China. In last year, the number was about 150 was, were, were sent to China and they started in China in the field of economy, the social, life, the social security, science and technology, environment protections. So I think they have a nice discuss and a detailed discussion of and communication. This year, we again we will continue and do this kind of training program for the Armenian friends. Well, in in short, I want to say that 32 years it's not uh, quite a long time comparing to the long history of our friendship. But now we are at a new historical, historical point. So we want to work together with our Armenian partners and to, uh, to be a truly trusted friend and partners. And we want to inherit our historical relation and friendship and try to deepen the practical cooperation and uh, uh, work together with our friends for our future and for our people. Mr. Ambassador, many Chinese companies start to pay attention to Armenian market. How would you comment these economical relations between our countries nowadays? This is very essential in the development of our bilateral relations. We all noticed that recently the Armenian government invested hugely in the infrastructure construction like the uh, water resources, communication, energy and uh, transportation. This is also worked together with the concept of the Chinese uh, One Belt and One Road initiative. So uh, we are say, telling our Armenian friends that Chinese modernization has been uh, a good example for improve the developing countries in the field of infrastructure and also the development of their economy and providing more jobs to, for the employment and uh, improve the livelihood for the people. So we want to share with our experiences and we are always willing to support our partners to develop their infrastructure construction. So we want to share with our partners with some designing, planning and also uh, funding and uh, construction and operation. This whole set support. Uh, if there is any need from our Armenian friends, we are ready to provide this kind of support and uh, service. Currently, uh, a few Chinese uh, enterprises and companies are participating in Armenia's uh, uh, infrastructure construction, like the North and, uh, North and South Road construction, and they are implementing their project very soon. I, we are assuming they are ending it this year. And also there are some new companies participating in the reservoir, in the dams renovation project. There is a good one in Cups and the, the works are going, undergoing well now. And also there is some, the power station construction or the re renovation of the, the ones. 
and also some solar energy power station constructions. That is that, and also uh, the Chinese companies are willing to participate in the industrial park constructions and and also the connectivities of the roads, the uh, these water resources projects. That's something we are proud of, and we are willing to help the Chinese companies to provide them more information of them to, to be here and to participate. And also that we can try to work together for a new field that we call the new quality productivity forces. Because a lot of Armenian friends were to, uh, telling me that Armenia it's not a country with abundance natural resources, but still we need something for the countries, for the nation's development. I think that for the human resources, it's very important. And we need a new power or new uh, productive forces to help the development of the economy. So for us, that China has uh, proposed the, the idea of the new quality of uh, productive forces. That means of the green energy, the uh, solar energy, and uh, say the it's electric cars, things like that. And that, on that uh, certain aspect, I think China can provide some support and work with the uh, Armenian government and also the digital, the AI, thus we can work together. And we do hope that in future, coming future, more and more Chinese companies from this uh, area will be present their appearances in Armenia to s provide their services to the Armenian people, like the new energy uh, enterprises, the uh, automobile of the electricity, or new, we call it new energy, and uh, automobile is, uh, of uh, scientific uh, and technologies, and also smart agriculture. These uh, are new to the world and to the whole uh, developing countries. And also we can work together with to uh, develop the cooperation in the university to university of the educational cooperation and uh, for human resources trainings. That we can provide more chances and more opportunities, I believe, for the future development. And also we try to uh, push forward and help the uh, Armenia's export to China. We all noticed that the, the, the Armenia's export to China is uh, most uh, focused on some certain areas. I mean, solely for some uh, small uh, group uh, of the, these productions. And uh, we try to improve your export, Armenia's export, from different uh, areas like the uh, your uh, wine productions, your uh, brandies, your agriculture things. Last year, this has been expanded widely. So, and also, we uh, noticed that uh, last year, the, the, the six, number six, the Shanghai Expo were held, was held successfully. And uh, one of your deputy minister from the economy held, headed that, the delegation of nearly 30 uh, Armenia enterprises participate in that expo and uh, present your very nice and beautiful uh, agricultural products to Chinese market. And we do want more and more Ch Armenia companies and uh, enterprises to bring more and more your good quality products to China, to Chinese consumers and to Chinese markets. Therefore, we are encouraging and help uh, Armenia uh, partners to participate in different ex uh, exhibitions of uh, uh, fairs in China and try to present more of your uh, good things from Armenia. Mr. Ambassador, the Minister of International Affairs of China, Mr. Wan Yi, during two sessions in Beijing last month, said that China sees the solution of all permanent conflicts in the world in peaceful negotiations. You know that Armenia is passing hard times now, being in a very difficult geopolitical situation. How China sees the situation in our region? The uh, South Caucasian area was and has always been a very, very important geogra geographic uh, 
points uh, between Europe and Asia. And it's also at the crossroad for the Eastern and uh, West uh, civilizations. Well, the three countries in this area, we regard them all as our good friends and good partners. And uh, our communication and uh, diplomatic relations is not in pursuing any geographic political uh, aims or goals from China. We don't want to put any political conditions for the development of, of our uh, bilateral relations, China, Armenia, China, Georgia, China, Azerbaijan. And we do hope that the uh, regional peace and stability could be made here in the region. That is the basis for the development for the future of this area. Because we understand that this whole world getting better and China will get better. While on the other side, China's getting better, the whole world can also benefit from the development of China. So the world can be better as well. This, this saying is also goes good with this area, with this region. So we try to uh, promote the equal and orderly world polarization. And we also support the mutual beneficial and uh, tolerant, the globalization of world economy. So we don't want to try to seize any interest or profit from the war or regional conflicts. We never did that. And this, the, we, we do want that uh, the regional security and the development goes together with other nations, with other countries. There's the common interest and our all wishes for the people and uh, the countries here. We support all the efforts to strengthen the political mutual trust and strengthen the political dialogue with the peaceful way to settle all the conflicts here in the region. And China is willing to work together with all the uh, parties in the world to work together with the regional peace development for the construction uh, uh, role here in the region. Mr. Ambassador, several years ago, I asked you about direct flight here in Beijing. How do things stand now? Well, we, we have been working this uh, hardly over the past years. And we all noticed that uh, uh, before the pandemic, we started the, uh, the visa-free policy. And that helps the people-to-people -people, uh, exchange and also encourages more people to visit Armenia. Last year, the figures from your Ministry of Economy uh, that the Chinese tourists visit Armenia reached among 20, nearly 20,000 people. This one, well, looks big, but compared to the, our population, it's a very tiny one. So we all notice that, not only the Chinese side, but also the Armenian side, from the government, from the enterprises, from the people. We all have a strong demanding for opening the direct flights. And after a few years working, we are expecting a very, very detailed progress or improvement will be made this year. So we are waiting for the new announcement. We are waiting for the operation news to us soon. So maybe I, I, I won't share with you now, but I do hope that in the coming future, I can share with you the good news.